So a couple of weeks ago on one of my live broadcasts, I took a DNA test from Family Tree DNA. Family, Family Tree DNA is a, a test done similar to my heritage. There's no spitting a tube. It's all a cheek swab. So before we get into looking at the results, let's look at some of my past DNA tests. I've done two DNA tests previously. On my first one I did, I did through my heritage. And when I did that test, this was back in um, January of 2021, where I posted my first DNA video on the results. And these were the results. I was showing Irish, Scottish, and Welsh at 78.7%. I was 10.7% Balkan, 6.1% Finnish, and 4.5% Greek and Southern Italian. Following that, I did an Ancestry DNA test. I originally did that and got the results in the summer of 2021, just, just under a year ago, uh, last July. Since then, there's been uh, two updates, one that was done in the fall and one that was done this, this past April. So these are the results that they showed Originally in July of 2021, I was showing 54% Scottish and 46% Irish. Uh, in November of 2021, I was showing 58% Scottish and 42% Irish. Still the Scottish and Irish exactly as I, I thought from my own family research. Um, now in April of 2022, they, they did another update. And this time, my Scottish dropped drastically to 43%, and my Irish went up to 48%. But it was also this new category, English and Northern European, I was showing 9%. All these DNA companies use different pools um, to get their results. So I do expect differences. Um, so let's, let's take a look at what the family tree DNA is. Results showed for me. I did the autosomal DNA test, um, which is the same as that was done um, with Ancestry and my heritage. Um, great thing with family tree DNA is you can also do um, a Y DNA test, which tests the paternal line, which only males can do. And you can also do the mitral DNA test, which is the maternal line uh, going back. Which both genders can do. Males will not be carriers, so None of my children would get the same results, um, but I could do it to find my mother's heritage. We're going to specifically look at my origins because that's what we are comparing here. According to Family Tree DNA, uh, I am 99% European. This is the first test that I've done that has not shown me 100% European. So it breaks it down. Western Europe, it is showing me 62% Irish, 29% from Ireland, Wales, and Scotland, 5% from Scandinavia. Uh, Southern Europe, I'm showing less than 2% Basque, and I'm also showing Finnish, which I'm less than 2% Finnish. And then Eastern Europe, I have Magyar, and I'm less than 1%. Now, to be honest, I had to look up what Magyar was because I didn't know. Uh, it is basically this area here, uh, centered around Hungary, Romania, Slovenia, a little bit of Austria, Slovakia, basically a lot of the Balkan areas. It is showing that I am less than 1% from the Middle East and Anatolian, Armenia, and Mesopotamia. Now, Armenia is still a, a, a region that people are familiar with and a name that people are familiar with. These other ones are not so, and Mesopotamia being more of an ancient uh, name for and part of this Middle East area. So this here basically includes Turkey, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Syria, and Iran. Um, less than 1%, so that's really interesting. Um, let me say that in my research, I do not have any heritage that I can show that are Basque, Finnish, uh, Magyar, or Middle Eastern at all. There is differences, definitely differences here from the other two. Is this less accurate? Is it more accurate? A lot of people do not understand when they get these results. These are not 100% guarantee um, of, of what your actual ethnic origins are. This is based on their pools and what the people in those pools have identified as their ethnicities or origins. They have different pools, they're gonna have different results. Generally, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I know I honestly, this here, um, I, I 
have more Scottish as, as far as I'm aware in my actual family tree because my father's family is Irish, my mother's family is Scottish, and part of my father's family is from the Ulster region of Ireland and there would be some Scots-Irish in there. So I would expect Scottish matches showing. Uh, Scandinavia, I'm not surprised just because for those that are familiar with history, a large portion of um, Scottish and Ireland is influenced through um, interactions with Scandinavia, um, specifically often in the Western Isles, um, which I do have relatives that I have traced back to that region. Scandinavia does not surprise. Basque really does surprise me. Uh, if you don't know the Basque region, it's a region basically bordering France and Spain. So my overall opinion of the family tree DNA test. Uh, first of all, let's go with taking the test. When I originally took it, you'll know, if you go back to the video, you'll see that it was a swap test. It's the second one I've done. My hair touch is also a swap test. I really I like that method a lot better than the gathering spit in a tube. Speed. So I did the test originally on Saturday, May 28th. Um, it was not put in the mail until Tuesday, and I got the results actually back on Tuesday of this past week so it was just actually over three weeks to get the the results back which was really quick the accuracy uh, again i think a lot of people put too much into it if you really want to get accurate ethnic origins do the research that's my overview of family um family tree dna i really i recommend it i uh, go look for it while it's on sale um, easy to to use the results were great. Got a lot of family matches. I'm really happy with it. Take a look here for my most an recent Ancestry DNA results where I talk about the changes and also their new tool that they have that matches your maternal and paternal side of your ethnic origins. Have a great day and keep looking for your ancestors.